So in the demo file, so we have this information here last time, which I don't have the, um, uh, the route yet. And I'm going to go and create a temp. Um, well, let's see. Let's see what it looks like on the homepage. On the homepage, we have the homepage. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to display the homepage, okay? So we can kind of see what happens in the, in the homepage. So that means I'm going to use the demo as the child component. And I'm going to pass that data to the demo page. Uh, component and then display here and the parent component. Okay, so a little confusing, but my demo component here, I'm going to delete all of these here and I don't need these. So I'm going to go and uh, modify my component here a little bit. Um, you know what? Now let's create another one. Yeah, I don't want to mess this up. Let's create another component. Uh, for practice purposes, okay? So I'm gonna go to terminal here and let's create another component. Um, and we're just gonna load that to uh, the root component. So ngGC component, and let's call this, um, what should we call it? Uh, let's see, what do we do? What do we use here? I can't think of it, so I, I'm just calling it child, okay? Just call it child. I did a demo, child, um, child, A. Okay, so, um, um, well, yeah, never mind, sorry. <laughs> That's child. We're, gonna, we're not gonna do that two, two uh, way binding. Uh, I mean, communication, you can watch my video for that, but um, in this class, we're just gonna do this child. So again, no test and no style sheet. Okay, so a very simple component. So here we go. All right, so let me close everything here. Just select and close everything. It's, it's too, too many files. I just want the child component TS and the HTML first. Okay. So in the child component, we're going to pass some data from the parent to this component. So here in the variable, I'm going to create a variable up here. Um, let's, put a, let's put a button down here. <clears throat> a variable called um, Let's call it place, okay? And this is, if you would just create a, a local variable like this, it would just say place is equal to something, right? Or, or city, maybe call it city, right? City is equal to receipt. And that is a variable and the child template component. And you will pass that over to the child template. <clears throat> So here you have you pass it over to the template over here, and I'll call this um, we'll put here um, the city, right? And you've seen this before. This is really just classic example. You pass data from a variable to the city here, and that's how it works, right? And then to see this in action. Uh, this has already been added to our add module, as you can see here, it, there it is, child component. And then we just need to um, open the root component, which is the app component. And I'm gonna add it right, um, maybe right above the route here, okay? So we can see, this is the app-child tag. So it's gonna show above the title of that page. And we'll see if it doesn't look, we'll, we'll put below it, but I want to see and make sure it's still there. So here it is, this is Racine. Yeah, let's put below it, it looks ugly here. Let's move this down. So the alt and arrow move up and down. 
Okay, so right below the router outlet, so that the home page will load here, but then we have the child tag here, and the content will be rendered right below it. Okay. So notice my this is the child components content. Okay, I'm not navigating to the child page. All right, that's not how it works. You you load the child content through the the root component. So you see the content here. And you access or you interact with the child component through its tag, right? Through the tag, because it renders right in here. Okay? And this is the child component. So when you render this here, we know this is the child component. And we pass data to this tag. Same idea how you pass data to this div tag. Here we're passing data to the div tag. We don't know behind the scene, it actually passing data to the div tag. So the div tag is like a component. It is a component, HTML component, and the technical term it used called element. So this is like an HTML element. How do I pass data to it? Well, it has some built-in component in HTML called class and every outlet and so on. We put it here as well, right? You could say, you know, um, style, let's see, style, um, I'll just put it border, let's see if it works, 1px solid green, right? If I do that to this app child, uh, you'll see that it works just like regular HTML. Okay, it affects that because it's treated like an HTML element, even though it's an Angular element. So everything that is in the DOM is also accessible to this tag, even though it's not an HTML, legal HTML tag. Okay, because we have co total control of this component, we can pass our own data to it. Okay, so for the same token, this way, we're going to pass data. Remember, this is the parent component. We're gonna pass some data to the child component and the child component has a variable called place city. But in order for this city to receive the data from the parent, you must decorate this with the as symbol followed by the input function and you have a red script line here. It tells you you must import this class or component or module in this case. So again, quick fix, right? If you mouse over that, and the quick fix here is to import the Angular Core uh, import. And so there it is. It adds it the input here. I mean the input here, just like the component in India and so on. So now we decorated this city with that variable. It must be the immediate variable. <clears throat> okay, if you put another one here, A is one, then this will only decorate this A and not the city. All right, so make sure it's decorating the one immediately uh, below it. And uh, if this is not uh, convenient, you can also put on the same line like you see in my example. That's why if it's a short uh, variable, you put right in front of it, it looks like this. And I'm not restricting my variable to uh, anything. In this case, it'll be a type uh, string. If you want to be string, then you can put right after the city colon, it put string. And now this must be a string only, right? It cannot be a number or a Boolean or an object or other type, okay? If you don't care, it could be anything that you put in here because maybe you want it, you want it to be dynamic. Okay, so for us, we're just gonna ignore that and just put the default here, which is whatever it is, it's gonna be string in this case. <clears throat> so as you can see, if I put the app input here, city is machine, my application will still work normally, no problem, just like, like normal. Okay, so now we're going to change this data from another component, from the parent component. So. Over here, I'm going to pass this child to a variable called city. And I need to bind to that city. It's a property binding that must, that must, that must exist in the child component called app child. Okay? If you bind to that city, then you need to set that city variable to another value. And the value needs to come from the parent component. So here in the app component TS, this is the parent component. Let's say that I'm gonna have a variable here, 
uh, call uh, my my city is equal to um, you know uh, Milwaukee. Okay, so I'm going to pass Milwaukee, my city, to the chow component through here. This is my city, All right? And this will happen instantly because as you run, everything changes instantly. You're not going to see we're seeing and then suddenly Milwaukee. When you run it, you're going to see just Milwaukee. Okay. So here I'm past data from the child. I mean from the parent to the child to a city variable and the child component. <clears throat> to make this a little bit more exciting, you could do something like this. You can say, right down here, you put a button, right? And you bind this button to a click event. And this click event is going to change the city to a variable name. So you can have a function call uh, update um, my city. You call that empty function. Um, the function it will, it will um, update city. So it's an update um, city parent city. Okay, so we can see <clears throat> I'm outing the parent city. And and to this city, I'm going to um, pass in a just a name. I'll put here. Um, Kenosha. Usually you read that, you know, from a form or something, but I'm going to change that to Kenosha. So when I update this function, uh, update my city function, right in the parent component right here, update uh, my city, it takes a parameter, I should call it city here. And then I'm going to update this my city with this city which is called Kenosha. And then now it changes to Kenosha, and in Milwaukee, we change to Kenosha, and it's going to reflect on the child component. All right, so here we go. Initially, is we're seeing, but we, we change it to Milwaukee. When I update this, it's going to change to Kenosha. Okay, see, so might change it right there instantly. But the process, uh, um, the processes are what I showed you in the uh, uh, diagram. It goes through that the route. Okay, so I'm passing data from the parent to the child. So you can see it changes in the child component, and I render that in the root component. I'm not navigating to the child, okay? I'm just using that as a tag. So that's one way data flows from the parent to the child. 